Hey guys, Jordi here from Yepper Design and welcome to another great Premiere Pro tutorial. In this tutorial I will teach you how to create a rumbling flashing effect. So we're going to do very crazy in Premiere Pro today. So we're about to make this effect. As you can see the image is rotating and rumbling a lot and you can see lots of flashing and uh, the, the colors are changing. Uh, okay, just let's get started with it. I'm going to create a new sequence. Press OK. I'm going to click my source video and drag my source video onto my video channel one. I'm going to scale it up, uh, click select it and go to effect controls. I'm, I'm going to open up the motion tab. Now here is a good tip I can give you. If you film in full HD, HD which is uh, 1080p, and then uh, you, uh, use it in a 720p uh, project, uh, your image will be uh, bigger than your uh, project settings, which will allow you to uh, zoom out and, uh, or let's say zoom in on 100%, it's actually zoomed in without any quality loss. So as you can see, I can zoom out to, until 68% uh, uh, and still have my full uh, video onto it. Uh, if I zoom out a little bit more, you can see the black is coming out. But anyways, if I zoom in from that point until 100%, I still have all my quality. Okay, so here's a great tip. Uh, I'm going to animate the scale and the rotation. All right, I'm going to start, at, let's go a little down. Um, let's go to 85%. And the, rot and the rotation, let's say minus five. Okay, then we go one, two frames forward. You can do this by pressing the arrow key to the right. Uh, and then we're going to change the scale. I'm going to make it 100. See, now I just zoomed in without any quality loss. And I'm going to rotate to the five percentage, um, five degree, I'm sorry, to the other side. Uh, and then I'm just going to copy paste all my effects. So I'm just going to select the uh, two uh, keyframes, uh, all the keyframes I have now. Go one, two frames forward, and I'm just gonna press Control or Command V. I'm sorry, first I'm going to do Command C to copy them, <laughs> and then Control V to paste them. Okay, again, we're going to select them all, Control or Command C, just copy them. Uh, go to the last keyframe, you can see it when you're standing onto it, if this uh, keyframe um, pictogram is light lighten up, as you can see, so now I'm standing on it. Then we're going to go one, two frames forward, and again, paste. Select them all and just do the same, but make sure you're standing onto it, and then one, two frames forward. Okay, so we have copy-pasted all the uh, keyframes. And let me just play the video. As you can see, this is rumbling very sweet. Okay, the image is shaking very hard, which is great. Okay, uh, the next thing we wanna do is give it some flashes, some cool highlights. So I'm going to search my effect browser to lights. And uh, somewhere should appear uh, lighting effects in the adjust folder. So just drag that onto your clip and open it up. And here we've got some lights. Uh, the first light, uh, light one, uh, we're going to change the angle. So it's coming from the left side. Okay, now you can choose, of course. I'm just going to drag it a little bit more out of the image so it's not highlighting too hard, as you can see. So I'm going to place it somewhere around here. All right. Um, then I'm going to open up uh, light number two. And I'm going to pick light type spotlight, okay? Same as light number one. And I'm also going to, going to change the uh, radius, the angle, I'm sorry. Um, somewhere around there in the opposite direction. And again, move it a little bit like that. That should do it. Okay, what we're going to animate now is the uh, intensity. So if I change the uh, intensity right here, you can see it's blooming harder or not. And we can also, a great thing about this is we can also darken out stuff. So as, as you can see, if I go all the way down, see, I can darken stuff out. But of course, not too dark. The darkest thing you wanna go is maybe minus, minus 10, I think. Yeah, minus 10 will do it. Uh, same for the uh, light number one, which is on the left side. We're also gonna take uh, intensity minus 10 to start with. 
and then we're going just going to keyframe it. Make sure you keyframe both lights. Go one, two frames forward and increase it. I don't know, 30, maybe 40, but not too much because these are just the, the, the dynamic lights actually. Uh, I'm gonna change it back to 30. I think that's better. Uh, this is not the, the global light, so therefore we wouldn't want to uh, go over intense with it. Okay, go again, one, two frames forward, and just uh, select them all, say copy and paste it. And we're going to do the same. Stand onto the clip, one, two frames forward, and just paste it. Select it again, copy, go to the last keyframe, one, two frames forward, and paste it. All right, so light one and light two has been keyframed. So let me just show you. So as you can see, this is flashing very great, but we're still missing something and that's the global light. And therefore we're going to use light number three. And I'm not gonna pick this time the spotlight, but I'm going to use Omni light, as you can see. So this is in the middle, a great blooming. Uh, and we're not going to change the intensity this time, but we're going to change the radius. Okay, so we're going to start at zero. Go to the beginning of your timeline and paste a keyframe. Now we don't want it to go as fast as the uh, as, as light one, two, uh, because it's just a global light. So therefore we also have more dynamic in it. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, let's say five frames forward. And then change the direction, uh, the radius, I'm sorry, to let's say 30. And then just again, copy everything and go one, two, three, four, five frames forward and paste it. And then do the same for the whole timeline. So there we go. We have uh, copy pasted it, everything now. And let me just show you the effect now. So as you can see, this is looking great. Okay, um, now one last thing we can do is add uh, these colors I had. So if you search after color, you should see color balance HLS. That stands for U, light and saturation. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna animate, is we're going to animate the U. Now, you can do this as much as you want. Uh, in this example, I'm just going to do a 360 degree round. So I place a keyframe for zero, then go to the ending and type in 360. So that way we'll we'll have all the colors overall. Now, if you say I just I want it faster, I really want something uh, crazy about it, then type in five. I'm uh, sorry, uh, just keep going forward uh, and just drag it until you have five in the end. Now this is pretty much I must say, but let us look to it to the effect. All right, so as you can see, this is going pretty crazy. Now we want that because we want a very crazy video. So um, this is basically it uh, for this tutorial. Uh, leave a comment, rate it, uh, talk about the website, share the website, share this video. Well, you know what to do. Thank you very much for watching.